previously on Persona 3 Reload. Pretty good job. If you settle for anything less than perfect, ah! I'm sorry, Sensei, I failed you. You should be sorry. You make me sick. I'm gonna go throw up in that place you call an office. And now back to... Sneak up B! Back with some more Persona 3 Reload. When we last left off, while well, Chidori marinates in the hospital with her totally not boyfriend Junpei, I'm out here spending all my time with my boy Shinji, cooking up shit and tending to the plants and trying to get his stupid ass back in school! Go on, Shinji! Well, come on, I've already got my life under control. Can't you see that? I can tend to plants and I can cook. What else do I need? Maybe learning something that can actually earn you some fucking money! And we also learn about the old days when uh, Mitsuru, Akiko, and Shinji somehow just got stuck on the early floor. I I I'm sorry, that's, I'm sorry. That's the one thing I just don't believe, guys, that they literally got stuck on the fucking first floor of Tartars for like years. And then I come around and suddenly we're just like flying through this shit. Listen, I don't mind tooting my horn, own horn sometimes here, guys, but uh, uh, seriously, I, I, don't, I don't believe you were that in inept. There's no way. It's actually impossible. I was going to say that Shinji is like basically the Jotaro Kujo of freaking uh, Persona. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. He's got that edge. He seems like he's like kind of like a dickhead, but he's actually got a heart of gold underneath. He just wants to look fucking cool. He always wears a hat. And when he takes the hat off, it's like some cursed shit. Like when we saw him in that flashback with that hat, I was like, oh my God, put the hat back on. What the hell is this? You have a top to your head with hair on it? By the way, you guys actually mentioned to me about how some of the, the movie, there were actually some movies released for Persona 3. I, interesting, I actually thought it was just one movie. I didn't realize there were multiple ones. One for each season and how they handled some of the, the plot elements uh, from the game. And uh, like one, how apparently where like Ken like awoke to his like persona when like Koro, Koromaru got like hurt. And then Shinji was the one that saved us when we got trapped underground. And then he and like Ken bond together. And then when he like, his persona goes berserk, Ken learns something and it's like, oh man, that's actually kind of cool. And honestly sounds a lot better than actually what we got here. I mean, it's not like what we got here is terrible, but it does seem a little more nuanced, I guess. I think, I think him discovering uh, a certain point uh, that way, as opposed to simply just eavesdropping on Akiko and Shinji is a little more uh, interesting. That's cool. I'll have to check those out at some point. But to be fair, I, I haven't even fully watched all of the Persona 4 anime either. And Persona 5 anime apparently is just trash. You can skip that. Oh, right. And apparently with uh, in the original FES version of the uh, Fuka scene where she's like getting tickled by a little device, they actually make it even more on the nose by literally having F Fuka yell uh, to Mitsuru, who's like at the door. She goes, I'm coming! Like, a, coming to unlock the door. Uh, wow. <laughs> Damn. I, I guess they maybe thought that was a little too on the nose here. I almost feel like they should have left it, though. I mean, it's, I think I think the implication is still pretty obvious. But anyway, last episode, uh, Fafaf said, it's not explained super in depth in the game itself, but it's clarified more in side material. A persona is the result of a person taming their shadow, and in reality, there's no difference between sh personas and shadows. The way humans tame shadows is via the collective unconscious. But to be more specific, it's humanity's fear of death and appreciation of life that allows them to tame shadows. The Persona users of Persona 4 and P5 focus more on the appreciate life aspect. In P4 in particular, people learning to accept both the good and bad aspects of life allow them to accept their shadows and tame them into Personas. Persona 3 focuses more on the fear of death aspect. The point of an evoker is to put the subject in a near death state. This causes their instinctual fear of death to emerge and thus build their determination to live, which allows them to tame their shadow. This is the real reason evokers here have to look like guns. The subject must truly believe that they are about to die so that their instinctual fear of death and will to survive take effect, basically shortcutting the process of accepting one's shadow that the P4 crew went through. While they stated that the reason that Strega can't control their personas is because they were forcibly given it, this is hinted to be a red herring. The real reason that they and Shinji can't completely control their personas is because they have become apathetic to life and death, as stated by Chidori's speech. This is a problem because it means that they lack the instinctual fear of death, and as such, their persona starts to devolve back into shadows. Interesting. That's really interesting. I kind of wish they went into more detail about that here, because that's actually kind of cool. That's how that works. I, I think that was something that they did talk about in Persona 4 Arena, 
I think that they went into more detail about like like the evoker because there was like a point where like I remember Akiko I think is like he pulls out his evoker and he uses it but he's like I, you know we've grown beyond having to to do this anymore and they sort of talked about the reasoning why but it'd been so long and I couldn't really remember what was specifically said or how that was how that sort of differentiated from the other people like the p5 and 4 crew but that's cool so strega is because strega has essentially not they don't fear death as in as we're seeing from chidori constantly saying that death is just like going to sleep and you don't wake up that's why they struggle with actually controlling their own personas as well as shinji and his own things going on right mm, that's cool man well fafa thank you so much for your incredibly enlightening comment that really helped me understand things a lot better and it's for that reason you are comment to the day Oh, right. And you guys also mentioned it might be a good idea for me to prioritize uh, Fuku and Yukari's social links on specifically Monday and Saturday. Because as I was seeing, and I, I was actually pointing that out last episode, how Monday was like, before I had nothing to do. Now I have Fuka and Yukari. It's the same thing for Saturday. I should, on the other days, prioritize other social links as opposed to Fuka and Yukari, which are also available throughout the week. And then save those two for just Saturday and Monday. That sounds like a good idea. That's the thing you have to take into account here when trying to be quote unquote optimal. It's like, it's not just what days are these specific characters Characters available it's what days are the other characters not available and if it turns out they're not available these specific days but except for this handful of people it might be better to hit to focus on just the handful on those days and then the other days focus on other people but okay so uh we got another evening did i uh, haven't talked to my guys yet hiragaki son used to frequent the outskirts of port island station the only reason he's still alive is because he is knowledge of self-preservation and defense those skills make him quite a valuable ally in battle. Honestly. The typhoon threatens to cancel the festival. It's a shame, as the student council president have invested a lot of time into organizing it. Hope we'll still be able to hold the festival, but I suppose all we can do is trust in Providence. Hmm. I don't know if I remember what the culture festival was in when I played FES. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> is the typhoon gonna hit it and cancel it or something? Yes. We got three shots remaining, huh? Phew. Just thinking about that makes my body tense up. Maybe I'll beef up my training. Gonna beef up with some more beef. They got TV? No! What is going on? What is going on with TV? There's like nothing anymore. Did I like go through all of the the interesting things? Where's all my cute cameos or like characters from previous games and I'm talking about fucking Zodiac shit. Damn it! I don't watch TV anymore. I'm gonna go back to streaming Netflix. Fuck. In my freaking office over here. <laughs> Wow, this Korean drama on Netflix is so touching. Ugh, there's only so much of those Korean dramas I can take before I start getting dehydrated from all the crying and shitting. Yeah, Chitori's gonna need some time to cool down. So I'm gonna give her some space before we even thinking about going steady. No shortcuts, of course. And yeah, it's gonna be hard, but I don't think that's a bad thing. For it's worth it. Hell yeah, you do you, Junpei. This is what I like. This is why I like Junpei and Chidori's like relationship, is that it, like, you feel like it makes Junpei a better, a better guy, you know? And in turn, he makes her a better person. Um, all right. Now, I know I could essentially finish uh, Shinji's thing right now, but I'm kind of worried that when the next time uh, Ken's thing might pop up. So uh, I'm going to do that. Thankfully, Shinji's things seem to be happening pretty frequently. Hey, are you jacking off? Remember to wash your socks after you're done. I had to learn that the hard way. Hmm, spend, spend some time with them. Here, I'll, I'll give you some pointers, Ken. Uh, who's the, uh, yeah, uh. I'm coming in whether you like it or not. Senpai? Bizzle son. Am I interrupting something? Oh, um, I was just cleaning my room. Sorry, was it too loud? Replaying with Fuka's tickle machine. <laughs> I'm coming! Oh, God. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Gross. Okay, then. Good night. Uh. Gross and inappropriate. Um, Senpai? Actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Will you come in? <gasps> He's got a little hamster or a guinea pig. Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. Damn, look at him go. Damn, boy running. He running. I actually have a favor to ask of you. I need you to kill someone for me. You see, I have a pet hamster. Aww. 
I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since, so I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. So, could you help look after him if that happens? Dude, I'm, gonna, I'm way more likely to die before you, let's just say that, alright? But sure, I'll look after your hamster. Be honest, your hamster is more likely to outlive all of us. That w <laughs> that won't happen. That might be difficult. Why me? That's not gonna happen. Of course. I have you guys with me, so I won't go down easily. No, I meant there's no fucking way I'm looking after that hamster. I fucking hate- Yeah! <laughs> I hate- her. I hate rodents! But you never know, right? It was the same with my mom. Everything happened so suddenly. So please. I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance, and the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. Oh. If it makes you feel better, hypothetically speaking. Okay, that works for me. Uh, why was one of my options like, no, you don't need to do that, I'm fine. Uh, I'll look after the hamster if something actually happened to you. Well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him, okay? I don't think he's listening to anybody but the sound of his little feet pitter-pattering on that wheel. What's his name? <laughs> Cute. Uh, his name... His name is Billy. It's... Hamburger. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! That's fucking amazing! Is it because he's a little fat? You just eat him right up? He's a little, he's a little hamburger, he's a little chonker. That's such a funny name for a hamster. That's a funny name for any any pet, honestly. Ham it's hamburger. <laughs> I I'm I'm infinitely tickled by cute goofy ass names for pets. That's a good name. Is that your favorite food? Mm, sounds delicious. <laughs> uh sounds delicious. Mm. You can't eat him. At least you're trying to stop me. Yeah? <laughs> You'll be dead, remember? Uh, yes, yeah, right. Crap. Uh, can I like mulligan this? Ask Mr. Root. No, I'm too late. He's mine now. Damn it. <laughs> but you know what? I think my mom laughed and said the same thing back then. Anyways, thank you so much. That's a big relief. There's not much time left now. Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you apologize to everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. Um, actually, can I ask you one more thing? Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat, and they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little different. Yeah, we do it with guns in our hands and weapons and shit. And you came to check in on me again today. But why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? Because you're our little buddy. Because we're a team. Because I know how it feels. No particular reason. <laughs> no, no particular... <laughs> I don't know. Just, I fucking feel like it. Because I know how it feels. Oh, right. Your parents... Yeah, they also tried to eat a hamster and choked to death. Wait, that's how your parents died? Yeah, yeah it was real tragic. I guess that's what they get for naming the hamster teriyaki chicken. God, I could really go for a hamburger right now. Don't eat my hamster! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry. Don't mind me. I don't remember if we ever actually know specifically what happened to my parents, other than they're just, they're gone, you know? But maybe I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then. Good night. I'm really glad you came. Thank you, and I'm sorry. I won't let you down. What? N nothing, nothing. I don't want to say it again, I feel awkward. Let the sound hallway and return to my room. I feel my courage improve for some fucking reason. <laughs> my courage improved for eating his hamster <laughs> and imagining it was a hamburger at that fucking uh, eatery. 
Hey, I'm eating a hamburger. That gives me a courage boost, right? <laughs> Hamster bites my finger and runs away. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Hey, at least it's two dudes this time. Here we go talking. Hey, dude. Hey, did you hear? You can't talk about what's going to wear a main dress to the coast of us. just going to get fucking naked. I can't wait. Seriously? Wait, seriously? It's a blessing from the heaven? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to a boner. Actually. The archer team is doing a maid cafe. She drew the short straw. Ha, huh, get wrecked, nerd. Her, she's not stoked about it, so we got us to go support her, right? Of course, just be the talk of the town. As long as she needs to dress up as a maid for the cultural festival. Problem is, Junpei's getting the shit kicked out of him for some reason. Why are you punching me? You can tell it wasn't my fault. I need to let out my aggression in some way. First bell has rung. I couldn't hear it over the, over the sound of Junpei dying. Ah! Greetings. Keep surprising you, don't I? I have heard that yukari son is going to be working in a maid cafe during the festival. I'm not familiar with the concept, however. The male students in particular seem exceptionally excited to see her new outfit. I'm actually curious. I, I'm, I, I, did she say anything here? Hey. So you're driving to Plenty Mall. Uh, okay. Nope, she did not say anything. Hey, there the Archer team will run in a maid cafe the festival. Oh, yeah. You get down a maid costume, too. You know, she'll be a waitress and all. It's really seeing in a maid dress, though. Ah, oh, shit, she's available again. Ah, oh, it never ends. I mean, this is all very interesting. I just, I'm just like, man. I'm never going to progress with anybody in this school anymore. At some point, I'm going to finish Yukos. So eventually, one day, when I'm dead. All right, Shinji. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, so what do you want? Found Aragaki. Should I talk, talk to Aragaki and return the leave absence renewal form? Let's do it. Huh? You want to talk to me about something? That's the fuck. Hmm. Let's go somewhere else. You hungry? I'm going to beat the shit out of you now. Hmm. So, are you still carrying that thing around? Couldn't hand it over. Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry. But I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. How did that happen? Hmm. I didn't know my limits, and I bit off more than I could chew. This is what I deserve. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone, and I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. Hmm. Interesting. You can actually find... So you can actually find out here, it, through this, uh... This, uh these linked episodes with Shinji that he's terminal. So the, you didn't, in the original game, in Persona 3 FES, he did not, that's not something you learn until later in the main story, so I have actually, I was like, oh, he said it here, okay. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but it's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. You gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Don't forget your promise, bitch. Well, damn. You really don't mince your words, do you? I don't give a fuck. You know? That ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kurijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah. You're just something special. I'm just some hot shit. And I like to take hot shit. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that... I'm counting on you. 
it's interesting because like his the fact that he's like this right it, it sort of plays into his own abilities where like the less hp he has the more powerful he gets and the fact that he has a move that literally cuts off like a bunch of his health that's really cool they did that made him like this berserker mode i'll hold on to this yeah i should have been the one to hand it in sorry i put that on you You can head on outside. I'm paying today. Hmm. Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again! Hergake and I quietly headed back to the dorm. My curse went up! Except no it didn't, because I'm already a god. Welcome back! It's just my imagination here. I've the lost been proliferating more quickly than usual lately. There are over two weeks until the next full moon, so well, why? I suppose we should just focus on what we can accomplish right now. We'll deal with this next chat swiftly and effectively. Uh, nothing to think too much about, right? Right. Unbelievable! Guess what? I have to wear a maid outfit. Fuck! Fucking you, right? I didn't deal with that! Fucking do this somehow! Ugh, so messed up. Sorry, who cares? I want you to wear it too. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, thanks. God, it's so embarrassing. I'll just run away. <laughs> um, can I help you? <laughs> Jimmy couldn't really cares about your Dory song a lot, doesn't she? Doesn't he? I'd only ever seen him goofing around, but I seems like such a gentleman. He's a good he's a good boy. By the way. It's almost time for the cultural festival at your school, right? You might be hit by a typhoon though. But if the festival doesn't get canceled, I hope you have fun. Hmm. Number of lost surges every full moon. It's relentlessly unceasing. We'll discover some breakthrough by climbing Tartarus. Or die trying. Uh, Culture festival. I forgot we did that. That crap doesn't interest me. Fuck this shit. I ain't got time for that. Ah, oh, we got a freaking Karmar going to go for a walk. I'm sure this probably won't be worth it, because technically I can also go upstairs and finish uh, uh, I guess this thing. But let's see what it takes. Where it takes us. Who will I meet up with tonight? Oh, Aragaki's coming with me. I'm getting so excited. Don't you go on walks all the time? <laughs> you've done this like 800 times now. Why is it still exciting for you? Whatever. Go on and run all you want. I don't like the way things are looking out there. It was like a storm's coming. Yeah, and also a literal typhoon. Well, whatever happens, happens. What? You done already? This place was your home, right? Hmm? What you got there? We got a cigarette butt. Magic incense. Doesn't look like anything dangerous. Why don't you hang on to it? Come on, let's head back. Karma, where's this all this shit like during the day? Why don't you just go out and like farm this shit and then run back and give it to me during the goddamn daytime? You lived out here. Okay, well that was nice. Got a nice walk with Shinji. All right, I guess let's finish it. Nikosan, are you currently free from predetermined obligations at this moment? I would like to enlist your assistance in absorbing all necessary information from the Yakuza novels. She looks real serial about this shit. There's another matter I wish to discuss with you as well. Is that involving my ass crack? Yes, I, w I wish to see it. Please reveal to me your mysterious wonders beneath your buttocks. <sighs> Fine. Yes. I shall retrieve the book from my room. Please stand by until I return. The charm's going up. Already? Remember, talk. Um. Nikosan, I am going to upgrade my outer appearance. I'm going to make my boobs double their size, just for you. I mean, it's great, I guess. But in the end, they're just metal boobs. It's just not the same. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. <laughs> 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 yes! Yes, do it! Go full Kiryu! Me 
talking about? Not bad, I guess. That sounds tacky. Not bad, I guess. Don't you think? I'm pleased to hear that you agree. Do it. Fucking do it, I guess I want to see that shit. Are you thinking of getting upgraded yourself? Yes. <laughs> Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. You know, it'd be really fucking funny if they just add, if, if after I finish this, they actually add a costume that is that. That would be really funny. Don't you agree? Nico san? Looks aren't everything. What's important is attitude, I guess. Attitude? So that's what takes priority? Got some sass. Some sassafras. Oh, could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. Aw, oh, but I like that. It seems I had the completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. Yes, what is What's it? most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. No, I guess what's most important in life is that you have to find the person that's getting all up in your business and you need to rip off your fucking shirt, show off your dragon tattoo and fight him naked on a rooftop while epic rock music plays in the background. Oh, I see. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Never mind. going back to putting myself gold and putting the dragon back on me. Yay! Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. <laughs> I understand the essence of the story. I guess it's fueling her fighting spirit. Oh, I'm gonna get amped. Literally, physical amp greatly strengthens physical skills. Hell yeah. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. And raising some fuck. Shall we conduct a raid? Oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. I will save the murdering and pillaging for later. Oh, God damn, it's the same two students again. Hear people talking. Who's a nasty typhoon is coming over here to murder us all? You think we'll sell the culture festival Saturday? God damn it, I wanna see you car naked! Dude, she's gonna be in his maid outfit, remember? I don't care, I still wanna see her naked! Nah. Nah, I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon's gonna be way too destructive. Uh -huh. Seriously, things gonna be canceled? Man, after all the work we're prepared for, fuck! Interesting. Maybe it will be. I'm not really sure what that has to do with the main plot. Okay, is Shinji not available? He is not available, all right. We did it, we finally got a day where he's not available. All right, let's continue with uh, Chihiro here. It's been a while. Oh, this is on. Um, do you have some time later today? Let's do it. Oh, good. Um, today I'd like to go somewhere to relax and talk. <sighs> not too many people come here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. All ears. <sighs> Thank you. So there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. And well, there's the boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I I was wondering, is she in love right now? Uh, uh I don't I don't know. Uh do I don't tell them tell them what they probably should hear or tell them what I think they want to hear, right? Ah, fine. Yeah, she's in love. 
Senpai. Whoa! Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Aww. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. I, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. <laughs> Kira looks as if a weight was lifted off her shoulders. I feel like our relationship has grown. I didn't just lock myself into something. Sorry for asking you about such a weird topic. I think the game gave me the game was pretty clear about it before with Yuko, so I think I think I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Happy to help. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I think I can do even better. I want to kiss your face. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. Make a wrong move here. I might upset her. What should I do? Oh my god! Speak to her softly. Kiss her. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Speak to her softly. Hold her hand. Grab her tit. That was be like, grab her tit. Okay, I'm just gonna try this. This seems like... Uh, slightly... Not kiss her. Speak to her softly. Let's... Hold her hand. Oh. Your hand. Okay, that was fine. We're fine. So rugged, strong, warm. <sighs> it, it's almost like we're a couple. I, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said something so inappropriate. Uh, um, uh, should we get going? She loves me. Oh God. I held Chiro's hand to his time to part, then went back to the door. She, she is super cute. Like, I do like Chiro a lot. There's a lot of, like, really good top-tier waifus in this game, okay? Oh, you're back. At least for myself, personally, I'm like... I was like, uh huh? Hey. The fuck are you doing back here? Now we got a typhoon headed our way. Still not sure if it's going to lay us out or not, though. Lay us the fuck out. I have a theory. According to my calculations, the probability of the typhoon descending upon us is extremely high. We must secure the door to our windows and seal any areas prone to leaking. More importantly, what's on fucking TV? Today's candy word is KI. Flex those fingers and say, and KI. Kahai means I'm mad now. A full train makes you seriously Kahai. That's all for this week. Back to the news. Thanks, fitness expert. Oh my god, I'm finally done with Shinji's plant thing, which. And everybody else, you know what that means? <gasps> we'll get to brush karma some more. Let's fucking go! Same prep brush at Koromaru's feet. It's like me with anticipation. It's fucking go time, little buddy. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Koromaru looks very relaxed, and so does Nico. His fur is starting to look really soft and shiny. I didn't say you could stop, mister. Koromaru looks very proud of his shiny coat. Your coat looks beautiful. Let's make it even shinier. Want to blow dry too? Let's make it even shinier. Cormar has gotten even more comfortable. This is all to make your persona more powerful. <gasps> oh my God, it's Kibbles and Mitts. Kibbles and Mitts. I love Kibbles and Mitts. And also it's referring Jim. Sing me for brushing him? Oh my god, you're the best, Karamaru. All my other dumb friends give me these, like, item food and shit and a bunch of useless horse shit. No, you give me the good stuff. You give me the good stuff, little buddy. Who's that little bugger bugger? Who's that bugger bugger? I'm sorry, the hang of this. I'll brush his coat again when I have some time. I'm gonna brush him so hard, eventually just turns to Super Saiyan. <laughs>
Super Saiyan Doggo! Oh my god, why do I keep listening to these fuckos? Hey there. Hey, did you go to the Phil Festival during summer vacation? Oh. Oh, uh, the one at Port Island Moon Theater? Yeah, I watched a bunch of horse shit. Heard that you're gonna have it again next week just for one day. Wanna go? Hell the fuck no! Oh. Yeah, fuck you, I hate you. I hate you too. Why are we talking to each other? I don't know. It's like we're familiar with each other, but in reality, we actually despise each other. Dude, this shit doesn't make any sense. It's almost like we're acting as exposition for some guy listening to us. Well, that's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. You don't make any sense. Neither do you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I really have to stop listening to these students. So the 23rd, right? I'll pass on this one. I forgot what the theme this time was, but I remember it was all kitty and bitchy. So there's going to be a one-day film festival next week on the 23rd. I should invite someone to come with me. Unfortunately, nobody loves me. Clouds, the clouds look ominous. Head should back, head should head back to the dorm. Doom is coming. Oh, this is the first time we've met during the day. Wow, you really walk around shirtless even in the day? Hell yes, I do. My nipples are all tingly from the storm that's approaching. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. Well, the typhoon. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. Just a little wind, who gives a shit? I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? Nah, she's dead. It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? She's fine for now. I see. For now, you say. Then I assume her symptoms have arisen. Considering Kirijo's resourcefulness, you would have had access to the suppressants as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. <gasps> this power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. What about me, all right? Look at me. I've got tattoos and no shirt. What the fuck? Fuck, God! Now, I ask you. Don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? I don't give a shit. It's my friends for the sake of the world. It's my friends for my power! You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such app, such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for. And worst of all, your rejection of mine. Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. Well, your nipples disgust me. You take that back! I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame.
of her bitch. I'm dressed from the rain. My body's shivering. Huh. Didn't quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. <laughs> I just crashed down next to Koromaru. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. No Yukari made outfit. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? I made plans, nothing special. Forgot we had one. I made plans. Oh, yeah? You always seem to keep busy, huh? What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo Senpai? I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? They're all happy and horny and shit. Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah? Ellipses. Still been under the weather, man. I should hit the bed early tonight. Damn it. No, fuck you. I'm going out in the storm. Wait, what? Hey, where are you going? Oh, hell no. You can go out there, man. You're going to catch a cold or something. I'm already sick. I don't give a fuck. Uh, never take me alive. Damn it. All I go is to here. Cur here. The only downside I canceled the school festival is that we don't get to see you can't in, in a maid dress anymore. Bummer, huh? Yeah, bummer, bro. No, right? Pretty sure it's not just us who are bummed out, though. All the other horny kids. To the cancellation of the festival, we will receive five days off from school. We'll have a full weekend off. The 21st is for is respect for the age day. 22nd is the national holiday, and the 23rd is the autumnal at the I equinox. Use this time wisely. Um, You're all wet. Are you all right? You don't look so good. I mean, don't think you should go to Tartar tonight. Stay home and rest in, instead. Yeah. No, I she's right. Just take care of herself. I don't even want to go to Har Tartarus all this wind and rain anyway. Is the storm out in the real world to show up in Tartarus too? I'm gonna watch TV instead. You Shafu gets closer and closer. It's taking the main land right now and murdering us all. Depending on weather conditions, they may pass over Japan by tonight. By the way, this building was damaged by that shadow back in April. I wonder if there are any leaks. This place doesn't get damaged as badly as I did. <laughs> Let's see. It's 
student council president. I'm saddened to hear the festival has been canceled. It's just that the, the date be rescheduled, but it seems that won't happen. Uh, there's nothing one, one could do to hinder Mother Nature's will. Yeah, I guess it did get canceled. That's why I didn't remember it all. <laughs> I can say it, but I'm so relieved the festival got canceled. I mean, come on. A maid outfit? I'd rather stand outside in the middle of a typhoon than have to wear a maid outfit. Funny you say that. I wish, huh? I can't even know a kid. Sack of shit. Fuck. Why is he speaking in his room and he isn't responding? Ah, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go my room and jack off. Ugh. A sickly jack off. I feel terribly chilly, man. I caught a cold. I think I stay awake any longer. Blech. I've been waiting for you. Looks like you died. What? Yes, you died of a cold. Hmm. I really thought you were like the chosen one or something, but I guess not. A bit anticlimactic, really. Oh, wow. I always thought I would die from shitting my, out all my internal organs. Ah, <sighs> this is a lame way to go. Yes, well, life be like that sometimes, right? It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities, have you been using them wisely? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Haven't thought about it. Of course I have. To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. Could it be the typhoon sitting right outside? But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. Why are you waiting this long to give this to me? Because it gives me something to give you now! Stop asking questions. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. New combination has been added to special fusion. But for now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Funny, I was I was thinking like, it just like the special fuses were really expanding. I didn't think that was like a little odd. I was like, I think there remember being a lot more Until in other Persona again. games. Farewell. Farewell. Nighty night. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, we're just gonna skip the whole weekend. Seem to suffer a long time. Here's the typhoon has pass. Through the window, the sky looks clear. I feel refreshed. Today's respect for the age day. Holiday lasts till the 23rd. But what about the Tanaka show? I fucking hang out with the dancers. Just are like. Well, the school day. Come to think of it, the crops I plant on the roof should be ready, assuming they weren't fucking destroyed during the typhoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a big, meaty soul spinach. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep playing Espeon, dude. That's just this too good. And everyone's here. Hey there. Is the body totally healed up? This love of a fighter is very important. Be careful. No matter how strong you are, if you don't feel well, you won't last long in the ring. Good morning. Good morning, and I'm here to monitor the condition of your health. Your temperature, pulse, and breathing have all returned to normal. Congratulations on surviving your illness. I had already ridden out your mortuary. Oh. Now you seem to be feeling better. Why don't you go get some fresh air? It's really nice out. Ken, are you reading like a fashion magazine? What the? Wow. There's actually like different things on the pages. That's cool. It's like random NPCs. Like what the fuck's going on? Our concept art? Oh. Oh, business line. You feeling better? How's the call? The school's at anyway. You should just rest for a day. Yes. How are you feeling? Doing all right. All right. Glad to hear it. I mean, I'll take I'll have no problems going to Tartarus. I take it. You and Taurus. Hey. You know they say idiots never get sick. Wait, means you just got sick. You're smart. And since I didn't, I'm... Ah. Well, what do they know anyways, right? <laughs> Fuck them. Oh. I'm glad you're feeling better now. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? You might catch another cold. You're on TV. Oh. Hi, I'm... This is usually... Th th this lady seems to be always the cameo person. I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who? Our subject today is a girl in her 20s with a very original short hairstyle. She's studying... Study overseas and speaks fluent English. She's as intelligent as she is beautiful. Nexus news. Pain, pain, go away. 
Yep, that's probably another P1 or P2 person. You guys can tell me who that is. All right, not much choice here. We're gonna hang out with the Chunky Kid. Oh, it's nah, blah, blah, blah. Man, he's a Mika Kid. For time, and you need to get more games to come to eat. I can bring my poor table games. Blah, 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 blah. What am I going to my friend? What are you in the mood for today? Right, sandwiches? Or maybe noodles? Maybe noodles? I just know the place. Hurry, I'm dying from hunger here. Well, look who it is. I knew you sounded familiar. What's this little fat fuck doing here? I'd recognize that shrill grating voice anywhere. I mean, who wouldn't? I don't have all the free time in the world like you high school kids, so let's try to keep this short. You owe me money, all right? And if that you don't fucking give it to me, I'll break your kneecaps and send them home to your family. My son gave you money that was supposed to pay for his cram school. I'd appreciate it if you'd give it back. Let's just be done with this. I won't bother you again if you return the money now. Are we good? Um, look, sir, I don't think you have the full picture here. Your son said he hates cram school. That's why he was hiding in the park by himself. I was doing him a favor. If anything, you should be thanking me. Right? Sorry, what? <laughs> I mean, yes, that's right. See? You think so too. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Well, what's this? Someone sure is bold today. You sure you're not gonna start screaming emergency and run away? My, my, you really don't have a clue, do you? No wonder you don't understand how your son feels. Besides, haven't you heard? He's my bodyguard now. He'll fight you to the death for me. So he seems to trust me with all his heart, even though I don't give a shit about him. <laughs> You're not gonna fuck about him. <laughs> Look, I should be the one forgiving you. And even if I did, there's no way you're getting into paradise. People like my dead brother, non-believers like you, you're not welcome there. Paradise. <sighs> talking to you gives me a headache. Ugh, he's talking to you is giving me fucking diabetes. You know my son, right? He's still in elementary school, and yet he has a better head on his shoulders than you do. You fat fuck. Your parents have my sympathy. I'd be ashamed if my son were as neck deep in this cult as you are. Cult. What? What did you just say to me? So that's how it is, huh? You're just like the rest of them. You think I should have died instead, don't you? You don't think I'll ever hold a candle to my twin brother, do you? I don't. I don't fucking think you do. Just knock it off. Damn kid. Damn kid. God, this has been such a waste of time. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then just you wait and see. I'm going to fucking kill you, you sleepy little shithead. Better watch yourself, kid. Hang around this guy for too long, and he'll scam you, too. He'll fucking eat you alive, like literally. He'll fucking eat you like he ate his brother. I tell my son the same thing. Choose your friends carefully. Now excuse me. Come back when you've learned a little respect. Uh, actually, don't come back. Ever! We fought that guy off! As long as you're here, I've got nothing to fear! <laughs> Alright! I was dying of hunger, wasn't I? Come on! Your dream was me, so I went back to the door. <laughs> so weird social link, dude. He's like part of a cult or something? Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey, welcome back. Uh, that's actually just what I said. Okay. <laughs> a lot of times they say things that are actually not what they say in the text box there. Oh my god, Karma wants to watch the fucking TV. More important, what's my what do these guys have to say? Oh, hi. I'm glad you weren't sick for very long. It's because you rested for two days straight. <laughs> we didn't see you at all. You've got to be hungry. Excuse me. While well, you're resting, a typhoon passed through town. Not much damage was incurred, just thousands upon thousands dead. Nothing I've known was mentioned about the typhoon damages on the news either. Hmm. It's a pretty big typhoon. A lot of buildings were destroyed. Yukari and San and Fuka san were really scared. Were you scared during the typhoon too, Bizzle san? I was busy being sick. Yeah, well, not at all. I slipped through it. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you silly Billy. Hmm. 
Oh, sorry, I should have made you some rice porridge when you were sick. Sorry to make it that sooner. I still get sick. I'll be sure to make it. It's all right. It probably would have killed me anyway. All right, Cormar, we can finally go back to watching your favorite discovery show about dogs. He rose at Cormar's feet. We watched him. It's going to make me smarter for some reason. Let's do this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking love seeing animals do shit like this. Like, it's really funny to me whenever I see Bernie look up and watch the TV. Like, it's so funny to me. She's like, what? What the heck is that? It's another episode of that docuseries about Wolfpack. In this one, a mysterious wolf pup is playing with his, playing with his father. Oh, no. It made Cormar sad. Cormar seems kind of sad. I like how every, every time he goes, you actually see his old mouth on the his, uh, his model there move. What's wrong? Mr. Parents wants to stop by. Mr. Parents. Oh, poor baby. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Gormar. I failed you. We watched the sad episode. Gormar, she's fixing on the scene. His eyes hold a trace of longing. Or if he misses his parents. And now he's thinking about kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits. And he's immediately over it. So there's more to this documentary series on wolves. I watch with Karmar again when I have time. This is the best goddamn social link in the game. I don't want to care what anyone says. They're gonna eat my ass. If you disagree, you suck my fucking dick. Goddamn, who the fuck? Who wandered in this time? Good morning. This is. Yeah, yeah. What is I'm it? I'm calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it later. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention one. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? Oh, God damn it, whatever. Today's national holidays, no school. There's nothing good on either. Damn it. All right, so I'm going to hang out with the fat kid again. Sure. Where am I going, my friend? I knew I can. You me cute. It's a main course of seafood soup. I don't know just the place for it. <laughs> Restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. Seven, eight, nine. Shoot, I'm coming up short on my counts. I have to find one more new person. Damn it all! Why doesn't anyone take me seriously? I'm not gonna lose to my brother again. I'll show him. I'll show them all! Yes. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Dude, he's doing my, my scorpion. <laughs> it sounded like to me the sounds I make whenever I want to gross you guys out. <laughs> Got shit again. Uh, yeah. We'll save it till later, all right? We gotta keep our shits on a tight schedule here. I don't know if I can, business again. Must, must learn discipline, young Padawan. So he's a right at the restroom. It's over. The baby came out good and healthy. Oh, yeah. Job to laugh at the gourmet king's dumb jokes. <laughs> I don't get it. I was fine up until a minute ago, then suddenly I felt sick. Is that a lot? Did you eat too much? Sick? What do you mean? Look at all the nutrition I'm taking in. I'm the paragon of health. Well, except for this gut. Hey, don't you worry about me. This is a trial I have to face before I'm reborn anyway. If I want my place in paradise after this world ends, I have to prove my worth. That's right, listen to your crazy cult people. Yes, the only way to make it into Paradiso. It'd mean a lot to me if you considered, uh, coming to paradise with me too. Do I have to drink the Kool-Aid or some shit? 
me, so he seems comfortable having me as a friend. I'm not gonna ask him about any of this crazy Hulk cult shit, right? I'm just gonna let that naturally hit me in the face. Take the sign I built. The noodles got soggy while my stomach was giving me trouble. You'll have to wait till next time to hear about paradise. Damn it, you should take into the bathroom with me, goddammit! But for now, let's just focus on our ramen. Ooh. Sir, can I get some rice and dry seaweed? I'll salvage this ramen by turning it into a rice soup. I just want to go see me soon. Went back to the dorm. Not getting any less weird, is it? Or are we on TV? The sky is clear and blue once again. Everyone with laundry out of the line can rest sure that'll be dry by the afternoon. Next up, news around yet another missing press report. Aki Karabe, a 30 year Kekon High School in Yasunobo Shimazono, 44, the president of a company in the Bay Area. We both reported missing earlier today. Police are searching for leads and asked for the public for assistance. The worm Taurus got to rescue him eventually. Huh? The dark hour disappears. We'll probably lose our persona abilities and return to being normal high school students, right? Oh, but I guess we won't be the same as we were before. Because everything we experienced together will live, live richer, fuller lives. There's no way the Atlas will try to do spin-offs or have a fucking fighting game based off this crap and would never let us have our, a day of peace ever again, right? Right! I have a suggestion. We have captured Strega support specialist, Shidori. Next mission it is highly probable they will be unable to determine our location. Oh. Yeah, not having a navigator must make a huge difference. I doubt they'll be able to do much on their own right now. Uh -huh. Still, we should be careful. The other two must be formidable, too. By the way, wish the typhoon was on our side. Maybe we could blow an entire ramen stand to a shadow and kill it with one hit. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says nothing, too. We can get stuck. You know, he's shooting down my cool ideas. All right, time to finish up uh, Shinji's here. One time, I, I brought a lost kid to the strip mall uh, to the police station. Turned out he was on the son of a fishmonger. You think me like crazy. I'm not even telling you this. Hey, in a hurry, go wait in the kitchen. I'll be there later, bitch. All right, let's do it. Go fast with two people to do it together. Yeah. All right, let's go. This is a box full of sawdust. Eat it. Today, we're using that to make tempera bowls. Go ahead and take out what's in the box. Grab a big old fistful of sawdust. It's a box of shrimp. Living, wriggling shrimp. Oh my god, it's crawling on me! Getting these delivered is a royal pain in the ass. So I went and got them just now. I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. Leave it to me. Let's do it together. I can't do living things, man. Just leave it to me, bitch. Yeah, it's all you. I'll handle the first one. So pay attention and just do the same. I started to prep the living shrimp following Ariaki's instructions. We managed to work together and finish the tempura bowls. The taste is pretty good. Although I guess we did use good shrimp. You've gotten a lot better, too. I'm more comfortable with the knife and fryer now. You're stabbing yourself a lot less. All you gotta do now is keep practicing. Get the basics down. And just find the right way to cook the stuff you have. And that's how I was taught. Yeah, you had a great t-shirt. Who'd you learn from? I'd say... He was an oddball who couldn't mind his own business. A long time ago, I used to work part-time at a restaurant. The manager drilled me on how to cook. Gave me so much shit back then, but when I think back on it now, it wasn't really a bad experience. He always used to say, learning to cook is the first step to supporting yourself. But not only that, if I didn't know how to do it myself, I wouldn't be teaching you like I am right now. I ain't gonna teach you every little thing. I can at least be here to show you how it's done. It gives me something to do, too. Our guy has a one smile on his face. Uh, also, more power in his pocket. Auto. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fucking crazy. Auto heat riser. Temporarily raises all of the user's stats as a star of a battle. He's a god. Oh, right. Let's eat up and then put everything away. Ultimate Timber. 
You can head back to your room once you're finished. I'll handle the cleanup. I'm gonna give some to Cora Chuck. Hey, I gotta make Koromaru's dinner still. <laughs> gotta call him Koro Chan. Damn it all. You got a problem? Goddamn, it's only opening up to everybody. Can't let the iron wall fall. Gotta keep up with the appearances here. Today is the Optominal Equinox. There is no school. One day film festival day. Man, I should buy some dumb ass. Hold on, go with me. Or I can hang out with Hay Hayase. Finally better. You were sick. Your face is so pale as a ghost. I see you up and around. Well, film festival. Don't forget they did this. That I haven't been to one. Should I invite him to the film festival? Sure, I'll see what happens. With me? Huh. Weirdo. Well, let's go. From paws to whiskers? This is what we're seeing? <laughs> I'm thinking this is like their opportunity for me to be able to bring Shinji to this, right? Because I've already, I think everybody else already went. Well, if this is what you really want, I guess I'm game too. Watch tiny animals fighting to survive with all their strength. <laughs> they toss with the harshness of nature and the tenacity of living creatures. Gotta learn so much. <laughs> uh, I'm already a badass. The river. It just washed that dog away. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Dude, I would not. Oh, dude, I would. I would. Th this movie art something would fuck me up. I'm right there with you, Shinji. I get you, bro. She would have met. I'd be like, now fuck this movie. Why'd I watch this? Oh, God, this is just as bad as Schindler's List. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta go. Oh, <laughs> there, Aki. Go, uh, go ahead. Then return to the door myself. <laughs> I fucked him up. I broke his spirit. Sorry, Aki. I'm guessing it's the only person I can actually go with in the movies here. I think it really is just a reason to do that with Shinji. Yep, no one else here can go. What's on TV, by the way? Cultural anthropologists have made an announcement regarding apathy syndrome. They have calculated the timing of when victims will recover and when new victims will be claimed. People are waiting to hear the exact day the victims will be increased next month. All right, sing out with uh, Hayase. Oh, Bizzle. I'm actually got some shopping to do. Want to tag along? A little bro's been begging me to pick up some new tunes for him, but I don't know much about music. I think it's your help. Let's do it, man. Ah, oh, great. It's a music store in Polonia Mall, right? Am I going ahead? I'm going to finish working out first. Should take long. Waiting for a while, but he honestly still isn't here. Let's see. Uh, wait a bit longer. I'll wait a bit longer. He honestly still isn't here. Hmm. Guess I'll keep waiting. He honestly still isn't here. Well, I'm just gonna go home. Just wait a bit longer. Sorry, but I don't think I can make it today. Well, what happened? Don't worry, it's okay. I just feel bad since I'm the one who wanted to hang out. Yeah, dick move, by the way. Actually, my mom fainted. Uh oh. I'm at the hospital right now. They said it's exhaustion since she works from morning till night. Damn it! It's all my fault. Okay, you know what? That's a fair excuse. And my mom, she's trying to leave. She says we can't afford the medical bills. Oh God, I saw that going very quickly. God damn it. Why can't I do anything? I'm useless. I'm just another one of her problems. Oh God. I'm sorry about all that. I, I don't want to be a problem for you too. But I'm glad you were the one to hear me out. Talking about this kind of helped. Oh, that's just going through some fucking shit. You open up to me. I feel like we're closer now. Through the pain. I gotta get back to a room, so let's talk later, okay? Let's 
see you later. So I'm back to the dorm. Hello. Hello there. Welcome back. Ah! This guy just fucking randomly pops up. Are you feeling any better, Bizzacoon? I was going to inquire earlier, but I thought you might be sick of everyone asking if you're sick. Ah, ha, ha! Just a little. Be correct. Well, that's understandable. Everyone gets worried when you're not feeling well. I bet you were also thinking, I didn't a say to catch a cold. Uh, get it? No. Can I kill him? Can I just murder this man? Mm -hmm. What? You bored? Go by the chairman or something. I love to capture a captive audience for his terrible puns. Let's go together. <laughs> what? I'll pass. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't got another walk with Karamaru. Who are we hanging out with this time? Let's have a look. Oh, Aragaki again. Same one, okay. Well, aren't you happy today? The pooch must have been worried because you were sick so long. Oh no, it's actually is a little different. I ain't trying to nag, but don't take your health for granted. That special power of yours has been a huge boost to our strength. And it's no secret that Aki and Kirijo have their hands full with their own problems. <laughs> what you got this time? Oh, you're back. Jeez. You've been picking up some weird stuff. Power incense. You hungry or something? Fine. I'll fix you up a good meal when we get back. You hungry? <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> All right. Let's get the hell out of here. The fuck out of this place. Yeah, lots of Aragaki hangout time here. All right. Since uh, nobody's available and I, I've, I mean, I've already done everybody's here and there are no social links. It seems like a good time to do one of these. So let's do this one. Detailing how to fatally strike your enemy. So this URL leads to the art of human demolition. Looks like it's about the body's weak points. You must know their own weaknesses in here. We'll explain how to take full advantage of them. Well, that's the smiling mascot. Dem Demolish Leton and continue to read. I wish a bit, managed to learn new approaches to hit where it hurts. I feel like I've learned how to examine the enemy before making the first strike. Ambush has been enhanced. When attacking an enemy from behind, you will now inflict distress without fail. Ooh. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so now if I, if I, when I do my uh, ambush move, I, I can still get the drop on them if I hit them from the front, but if I hit them from behind, I will also get the added benefit of distress. That's dope. Morning, Pistolcon. It's feeling a lot more like fall ever since the typhoon passed. What if the fighting ends before winter comes? Sure will. Uh huh. If you're right. That's why. A lot of people are concerned about the stress these days. Believe it or not, crying can relieve stress. The tension is washed away with all those tears. Unlike money, there's no benefit to saving up your stress. When life gets rough, just cry it out, bitch. That's what my therapist says. By the way, maybe you found this out already. We sometimes describe difficult situations as headaches, but headaches caused by stress are a real thing. I feel fucking sleepy. I just want to close my eyes for a little bit. I'm keeping awake. That's right. Migraines are probably the most talked about of them all. Some people are prone to getting them due to their personality and habits. Those, there are also tension headaches. Those are real nasty too. Tension headaches are when the muscles of your head contract due to overload stress. That's why it's so important that you never bottle your stress up. Or self say why you should listen to the boring lecture. Oh, my head hurts now. Oh. Another right, class. Everyone, settle down. Oh, this was voiced. So, there won't be any more classes this afternoon. <gasps> yeah! But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... I drew class for cancel so we could clean up the cultural festival displays that we never used. Okay, let's hurry up and get this over with. Roger that. God damn, I got stuck with fucking Kenji. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, I got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hayase. He's crazy fast. He's a god. 
course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. What are you talking about? Your knee's all fucked up. Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna beat him one day. <laughs> You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear, I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, he's got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. It by hand. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh, are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there, it'd be just your time. Yeah, that's right, play rabbit to Kenji's. Uh, what? No way, are you serious? Give me the details, man. Yeah, just get play up and do this horny horse shit. Ahem, I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man. Talk about an ace directive. I heard that. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupid. Stupid? <laughs> More like. Oh no. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. You guys have revealed to me the fucking horrendous scene that that, that shit. Also, you, sorry, Kenji. You guys already come up with that. I'm getting deja vu. Me too. Fine. I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. We said it was going to be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, really? With who? You. Hmm. Wait, me? You gonna just push me on stage without even saying anything? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Hell no. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. God, you guys are so fucking lame. I'll do it with you then. No. <laughs> what? You too? This could have been our ticket to stardom. You all suck. No, you suck, NJ. Yeah, I know. Fish are cleaning, <laughs> no further issues. <laughs> that was a goofy, goofy scene. Last in it for today. All right, stick so with your hero again. Oh, hello, hello Mr. are you heading home now? You don't mind, I'd like to join you. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Then we should stop at the strip mall. I'll somebody to check out the bookstore. I spend my breaks doing nothing but reading, so I think it's about time I bought some new ones. Oh. All of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each. That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm. We can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is this? It is. I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Fucking score! Each volume is 6,000 yen, so that means... 18,000 yen total? What should I do? Not buying it? Is it good? Of course. All three volumes are great. The care 
characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. Fuck, I'll buy it for you. I got a billion dollars. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what. I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or I'll yeah. get them by the time I graduate. I, I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. <laughs> May someone else put it here for that exact same thought process. I really wish I had a bigger allowance. But I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? You fucking whore! I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Please, just step on me again, please. Please! Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you. I'm breaking off your dick. I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness or friends. That is, until recently. Uh, what do you think now? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, don't worry. I was just talking to myself. But I do sort of understand how he feels. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. Is this affection coming from Jihiro? Doll. Though I understand her a little bit better now. Blah. can't help but feel like there are so many things in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. we we'll are steal it. I'm a bad boy, Chihiro. Walk Chihiro partway of the way home and then we'll back to the dorm. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hello. Oh, Bill Slot, you think we can head to Charters tonight? There's been so many cases recently, so I won't be ready for anything. So if you have a plan on going tonight. Nope. Excuse me. It's difficult to determine a shadow's strength, particularly these last three. It would be safer and more secure for us to prepare and, and train accordingly as well. Uh, I think I'll end my room in a bit. Oh, don't mind me. I'm easy like this. <laughs> Sad. Dead man had ties to local loan sharking operations. People say that the lack of struggle must likely means his assailant was familiar with him. The victim had likely contracted empathy syndrome, preventing him from fighting back. Oh, shit. By the way... The other day I saw Cora John eating something other than his usual dog food. Joe got it for him? Maybe someone made it. Looks so happy eating it. <gasps> it was Shinji. Yeah. Yo, Nico, how you doing, dude? I'm okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. After all, there are people who need my positive energy to cheer up. Oh, yeah. News is reporting the number of losses increasing again. Wish we could receive good news for once. Lisa is saying, all that, but we only have three shadows left. Once we defeat them, there won't be any more news about the lost. It's gonna give our best for a bit longer. <gasps> yes, we can continue our brushing adventures. Well, lively than usual. Pep, Pep brushes at his feet. Make it a new ability. Just by brushing him. See, everyone else is going through like these valuable, like, Oh, yeah. There's crazy valuable life lessons and shit, but no. Carmar just gets stronger from me brushing his ass. That's how much of a freaking badass he is. Get the hang of brushing Carmar, or he's loving it. This coat is looking even shinier. Oh, yeah, is that good stuff? <laughs> Koro chan looks so comfy. You sure know your way around a brush. Bizzlecoon? Oh, you might know something about this. Lots of people like to give Kurochan gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? Up his butt. Never seen them. Somewhere in the dorm? That's secret. Oh, well, I guess even Kuromaro needs his own privacy. Do you think we should give him his own room? Yes. <laughs> ah, right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. More brushing, less talking. 
Yeah. I brushed him with all my heart. Mars first, unbelievably shining. Eyes oh, glowing with the power of a god. <laughs> See him more fearless than ever. What a dog. All right, what is his? Auto Secunda lowers accuracy evasion of one random foe for three turns when a battle starts. Interesting. I assume then the the auto of that will the next the uh, upgrade will be like Auto Masuka Secunda or something. Yeah! Looking sharp, what a stud. <sighs> oh my god, more killers a bit. Probably a lucky charm. Well, this is what Fuka was talking about. Thank you. Play with an overly excited car bar for heading to my room. This is the best day of my life. Oh, God damn it! Now what? Let's do a lot of people talk this episode. By the way, it's just me. Are there a lot more cases where people lose conscious recently? Mm. It's over the news again, too. The whole thing makes me feel uncomfortable. What if it's happening over the world? And what if it's you or me or that random kid that's always listening on us? What? I don't say stuff like that. Remember when conscious people seem to be rising again? Ah, oh, shit. We're all about to fucking die. What Let's other special fusions do you have now? Desire. Oh, we have Parvati, Amada, Norn, the classic clock thing, Alice, the little girl. I actually almost have all these. I see Titania. Uh, Koryu. Oh, yeah, this is like the, the ultimate dragon. Finding all the other dragons. Comes with Meteoron, too. Oh, goody. There he is, baby. The classic. Big dick himself, Mara. Raglia Dine. Should, instead of calling this Proud Force, she should call it Penetrate. And then set to now. I finally get to hang out with my pal, baby. It feels like it's been forever. I've been waiting for you, Nico Dono. Since the threads of fate have brought us together, would you spare some time to talk? Let's do it, man. Oh, oh joyous day. They made us speak with a sewing machine in one hand. Listen well. Nico Dono. I have come up with a great idea to get my uncle to appreciate Japan's charm. I will show him a kimono. When he sees it, uh, he will understand the beauty of Nihon. Will that be enough? That's a fucking great idea. Wait, with you in my corner, I have nothing to fear. The kimono is a Japanese treasure, full of culture and history. History. If I show it to my uncle, you will surely let me stay in Nihon. As for the design... You're fucking better, I swear to God. It will be inspired by the mascot of Azuki Arai. Simple, but deep. I choose this design because, well... You are the one who took me there. Oh, You're such a little buddy, I love you so much! Baby really seems to trust me. I feel like we're growing closer! Now I have a growing desire to date, baby. God damn it. I can see everything clearly now. I shall hurry in Mexico kimono. I must sow. Sow like the wind. Like the wind. Spend the day working with baby and went back to the dorm. I'm gonna make the most fucking beautiful goddamn kimono in the world. Gonna make your uncle's eyes melt out of his brain for how gorgeous it is. Welcome back. What's up, dude? We have another full moon soon. And since the door is getting better, they got to start training again. Besides, Zapathy freaks are popping up everywhere. Gotta fight them off. <laughs> Maybe I should do, try doing a personalized train regimen like Sonata san Since the door is getting better, I've been thinking I should start working harder too. Start getting buff. I wonder what a day in Iraqi senpai's life is like. Since we don't see him at school, he doesn't seem like he would want to talk about it either. I know I'm being just, just being nosy, but I can't help being curious. What? I feel like people are talking about you. <laughs> you. I want to kill some time. Go find Junpei or something. I only take orders in battle. Bitch. 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 We're on TV. 
He'd exchanged a video store yesterday over the late fee for a rented video. The customer insisted that he had apathy syndrome, vetting him for returning the video on time. <laughs> the owner refused to give in, saying the boss did not excuse allow for any excuses. Despite the customer's frustration, the dispute was resolved to both men's satisfaction when they fought to in a battle to the death. All right, guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. A new full moon approaches. Not to mention I'm going to have to head to Tars at some point and probably save those people. Mainly Bukichi, right? The other two, uh, I can take or leave it. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If it is, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe for now, Ray, become a picky penguin. All aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.